So you want to install Open Fortress. The easiest way to go do that is go to Open Fortress, the Discord, join their Discord, and then follow these exact steps on the Discord. For a quick rundown of what to do, I will say what should be done. Here's a quick guide how to install your game for Windows. Before we install the game itself, make sure you have both Source SDK 2013 multiplayer and Team Fortress 2 installed. So if you are searching for this, make sure you have not just games in your library selected. Make sure that it is also tools. Because I have mine set the games and software. See how I have it for everything? You want to also make sure tools are enabled and search for that. The game runs off the SDK and uses Team Fortress 2 assets, so without having both, you're unable to play the game. You need an SVN client. There's also other SVNs, but I suggest you using SVN Tortoise. It's easy and simple. Install it takes a while to start, so you've, if you don't see next, you have to wait a bit. Best setup most users should look like this. This is how mine looked also. After all setup is done, look at your source mods folder. It usually has this directory. It usually has, you know, your PC, uh, he obviously has in different language over here. You know, that, Steam, Steam app, source mods. If you're looking for a way easier way of getting there, if you're having trouble trying to find that folder, what I suggest is going here. Properties. Local files. Browse local files. And then that will open up a folder over here. But then what you can just do is that you're in, team, you're in your Team Fortress 2 files or any Steam game. What you want to go back over is the Steam apps. And then you're now here. So now what you want to do is click on your source mods. And you will not see Open Fortress here. That's a part of the next couple steps. After setup is done, look at your source mod folders. Make sure you have SVN Tortoise installed before going this. It usually has this directory. It has to be in the same folders as your drive is your steam.exe program so make sure that they're installed on the same drive obviously right click the folder and press svn checkout so you go to the folder that source mods currently is in and you would right click svn checkout so this is what the checkout is going to look like but now when we go back over here you're going to want to put the everything in here in You will see this little box appear. Uh, and so basically what you want to do, SVN checkout, you see the box, you want to put in this link. This link right here. If you have any problems with the link, sometimes they have to change it a little bit. So just go through the server. We'll have things to help you there. So put copy and paste this URL in. SVN URL. And add open fortress of path if it hasn't set itself automatically. Next off, gonna prompt you for a login. Just put OFS, OFS as the login. Yeah, let me just do it for you guys. It might just already prompt. Target folder is not empty. Cancel. It's probably because I've already done it. So what you would do is that after doing all that, you would go over to this folder. You would go over here, put OFS, OFS in the username, and then leave the password blank. Hit OK, and then you'll see this. It should be running. If you have any problems with any of this, please go into the Discord server, and there's other places that will help you get it up and running. And to update, which I actually need to do, which updating happens fairly often, what you want to do is right-click SVN Update. And then this, they usually do different things. You can see what it's adding, what it's getting rid of, you know, blah, blah, blah. Just different stuff. If you get errors, SVN, most common fix is executing cleanup command. I did that once. It helped this with all six boxes cleaned. If you're having trouble with that. If you're Linux, uh, you know, that. So, yeah. Also, there's now ways to set up your own server. I was thinking of doing that with a different PC. Anyways, that is a simple way how to install open fortress to your computer and how to update it mine is currently updating 
So yeah, if you guys have any problems, go to this install guide on the Discord. I will link it directly down below. And yeah, guys, enjoy the... Enjoy... I mean, this is probably going to be its own video. Because I don't want to attach it to the other video. But if you're here for the other video, hi. And if you're just here because you're having trouble, I am sorry. I'm not the best at this. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.